Hey YouTube, I want to make a quick video about uh, fitting chain guards because it seems to take ages, it take, always takes me ages, this is a job that comes up all the time so I want to save you some time if you're buying, selling, repairing a second hand bike so you don't fall into the same traps I did. First of all, uh, when you're buying, selling, repairing second hand bikes the, so often they don't come with the chain guard because these uh, they're made out of plastic and they break off quite easily if someone stamps on it or someone knocks into it it will crack and what people will then do is just pull it off and then this which is on the other side which it attaches to uh, what they'll do is they'll bend that into the frame they'll bend it around and then just use the bike normally having teared this off so it looks awful basically so uh, the reason you do need one of these is a few reasons. Number one, it's a safety thing. If you don't have this plastic chain guard on, then the front sprocket is naked with the chain on it and your trousers, or the person you sell the bike's trousers to, uh, can get trapped in that and it can pull in their trousers and basically pull them off the bike and they can hurt themselves. Another thing is there's a lot of grease and dirt. It can rub off onto their trousers. But uh, another reason is if you're selling your bike or you sell a lot of second-hand bikes, the bike just looks really cheap and nasty with this bit exposed like that. It just looks like it's had a tough life and it looks so much nicer when it's covered with one of these new shiny black chain guards. Now as I said I'm going to try and save you as much time as possible when uh, going through how to replace these. So first of all before you take off the whole crank set, you take off this crank arm and all that, make sure there's not one of these there already. Like, like I said, sometimes one of these is on there but it's been bent into the frame. So see if you can bend it back round and then you don't need to take the crank set off at all. You can leave everything on and you just literally put that on, attach the screws, attach it at the back and uh, it's much quicker than, uh, than you'd expect. So step one, make sure this isn't already somewhere uh, in that crank set area but been bent uh, out of place. Bend it back into place and then you can just slip this on. Okay let's say there's not one of uh, these on there then unfortunately you have to take off the uh, arm, the crank set and the crank arms. Just a few words of warning it takes a lot longer than you expect. It's a dirty greasy job. This is a, a good test to know if you really want to spend your time with secondhand bikes because it takes ages, it's a physical job and it's dirty. You also need several tools. You need a crank puller. This is the cheapest version there is. It's about three pound, four or five euros. Uh, you also need a front ring removal tool. This one is rubbish. Uh, it never seems to fit properly paid like two or three pounds so my fault. Uh, what else do you need? You need a screwdriver to take the cap off uh, and that's about it. Other things some nice to have would be a can of WD-40, some gloves like this because like I said it's a dirty greasy job. Okay so I'm going to run, a f run through a few points just so you don't get uh, going around in circles like I often do doing this job. Number one, take the caps off both sides of the crank set. Yeah, Often uh, you just do the one uh, and then you undo the nut there but you have to do the same on the other side for some reason. Uh, if you leave the cap and then the nut on the other side it makes it a lot harder to take it off. That's what I found. Okay, so then you've taken the cap off both sides you use your crank set uh, puller one side of it, here we go, there, with the square taper. So, sorry, take, take off the nut first of all, like so. Do it on the other side as well, just to make sure that it's not st some, for some reason keeping the whole thing in place. You can see the square, uh, whatever thing in the middle. Lots of WD-40, especially if it's an old bike. Then this part for uh, the crank set removal tool. Often this will be this will be on an arm. It will come in like a one piece. Uh, thread it in. Thread it in carefully. Don't ruin the thread because then uh, you're screwed. Basically, uh, you can't do it. So thread it in carefully until it hits all the way that square part in the middle and when it's flush on that take the second part screw it all the way in 
Oh, you should have put that in the middle first, but it doesn't matter. You can use uh, an adjustable wrench, which is often uh, better because it seems often these are very stuck in place. So screw that all the way in, and then you need to break it. So you need to twist this arm. Can't see very well. The arm and the uh, crank arm here, they need to come together. So you need to pull them together and then keep doing, keep turning the pedal, for example, the opposite direction or keep turning uh, the crank removal tool clockwise. So you turn the crank removal tool clockwise or the pedal anti-clockwise until it, you'll feel it uh, wobble and then it will come off. Another good way of checking if you're doing this right is stand up over the bike and look down and check that this front sprocket is moving away from the frame of the bike as you're turning the crank removal tool. If, you keep, if you're doing it that way by keep removing the uh, crank removal tool, you'll see this front sprocket move and that's how you know that you're making progress. Then you'll feel it wobble and then it will finally come off. Now the tough bit, which I'd ever seem to do well on, is you have this awkward plastic lock ring in the middle now. Uh, you're supposed to use the lock ring removal tool, this never seems to fit properly, so I use a soft hammer to hit it into the, the slot. You see all these slots in there, and then use an adjustable wrench to turn the whole thing with this plastic ring anti-clockwise. Don't forget lefty loosey. So you turn it to the left, once that comes off, you can fit the holder. And that basically is the, uh, you, you, you're done then, that's the end of the job basically. So once you put the holder in, you reverse the process. You put the lock ring back into place, tighten it up so that that's there. Put the pedal, uh, the crank arm, sorry, back into place. Screw the nuts in, put the cap, oh, uh, don't, here's a good tip, don't forget to put the chain back on as well, see if I can do that. This is another, because it's such a long tiring job, you forget stupid things, like putting the chain back on before you do everything. So then, put the nuts back in, put the caps back on, tighten it up, then you can add your plastic cover. Uh, final tip from me, I know this has been a long video, but final tip is sometimes uh, at this part of the, uh, the bottom bracket of the frame, uh, the plastic uh, chain guard doesn't fit properly, it wobbles a little bit, and if that's the case just put some tape, some masking tape or any tape around the frame and then it will fit on it more snugly. I'm just going to show you what I mean. This, there it is, this circular part here, it fits around the bottom bracket part of the frame and you can adjust it how high or low you need it to go, And uh, but often it's a bit loose and it wobbles a bit so put some tape on there first and then it's snug. Then you screw in the top and bottom of the plastic cover and hey presto, the bike looks loads better, it's safer, you should get some more money for it if you sell it. Right, I hope that's useful. I hope that saves someone out there some time at least when doing this. Uh, I wish I'd um, known a bit more about this. Um, you, you need, you'll probably, if you're doing this, you need to watch a few more videos on uh, crank set removal because it's not intuitive. Uh, but yeah, I hope this has saved someone out there a bit of time. Give me a thumbs up if uh, you found this useful. Check out my book if you want to make money selling second-hand bikes. Uh, find some of the shortcuts. I've done it the hard way, but uh, I've got an ebook out there that uh, explains the process in a lot more detail. Gives you some strategies for making money with second-hand bikes. Uh, thanks for your attention. Cheers. Bye.